This sports broadcast made possible by support from the following. Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicago. For your year-round comfort needs, heating or air conditioning. Featuring repair, installation, and around-the-clock emergency service. Call 847-622-7483 or visit customheating.com. The Windy City Bulls. For tickets and game information for the official NBA D-League affiliate of the Chicago Bulls, visit WindyCityBulls.com. For 115 years, Colonial Cafe has been serving up breakfast, lunch, dinner, and legendary ice cream to the Fox Valley community. Colonial Cafe is the premier location for after games, plays, concerts, and more. Colonial Cafe is your community cafe. ColonialIceCream.com Paradigm Performance Helping athletes achieve higher levels of performance with outstanding care and rehabilitation. Train to Perform.us This game brought to you by our title sponsor, Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicagoland. For all your comfort needs, heating or air conditioning, give them a call at 847-622-7403 or find them online at customheating.com. That's 847-622-7483. We get ready for our national anthem here as we get ready for Game 16, Day 2 of the Hinkle Holiday Classic. Wonderfully done by one of the students down there, our, our marquee game as the, the legend that is James Hinkle is with us in the booth once again. Coach, how are you, sir? I'm doing well. I'm looking forward to this game. I'm hoping that uh, we can have a close ball game for once. I'll tell you, I haven't seen this many blowouts since my last birthday cake, Jeff. That's I, right. It's, uh, <laughs> the, the, the pool play is uh, uh, certainly setting up to where the last two days of the tournament, we ought to be very competitive where all these teams have sought their own level. But early on, these first few days, there's been uh, numerous blowouts, many, many mismatches uh, as we've begun in the tournament. So that's what I like about it. Those last two days, now you got fourth place teams, third place teams, second place teams, and the winners of every bracket playing one another. And it makes for a real exciting finish. We're ready to roll. Streamwood will be in their home white jerseys. They are winners in their first game, 49-47 over Cary Grove. And the Bulldogs of Grant uh, out of Fox Lake will be in their traveling red. They were a winner over Rockford Jefferson, 64-52. 16th game, eighth game of this uh, day. Of course, we've got plenty of action if you're watching live. We'll see you tomorrow for eight more games. We're going to tip it off right here and get ready for action as it's going to be uh, Keenan Cole, number 32, tips it to uh, not his teammate. It's taken there by Kyle Dupree, and Grant will bring it up. Dish it near side, Ben Kusiak. Out on top, down low it goes. Nice pass, knocked out of bounds, I think last touch. My big number 34, Brendan Martin of the Sabres. You know Paul Kowalson, the coach of Streamwood Will Well, don't you, Coach? Just to be honest, Jeff, I don't know him that well if we've met, but uh, we haven't gone fishing. <laughs> well, darn it. Well, you're dismissed from the booth then, young man. <laughs> Here we go. No score. Sabres with a basketball. Sabres, of course, have, have played some tough teams there in the Upstate 8 Conference, so they knock heads against the St. Charles's and the Larkins and the Elgin, of course. 
They have been on a, a somewhat of a rebuilding program. Down deep it is to their big guy. No, spins it back out. There's going to be a jumper almost all leaving the ground. That's by <laughs> Phil Cruz, was it not? <laughs> well, like, Phil was stationed like one of your birthday cakes. <laughs> you really? You can't call that a jumper. But, yeah, but it, it was, was a nudger. It was a nice touch, <laughs> nice shot. A toesy <laughs> shot it was. Knocked out, well, not knocked out of bounds, but we hear a whistle. Just underway, Sabres of Streamwood on top, 2-0 against Grant. Grant, a very good looking team in their victory over Rockford Jefferson. Inbounding it will be. The Bulldog, hey, almost stolen there and it's tapped nicely by Keenan Cole, a 6'5 sophomore, had 12 points in the victory. Uh, Streamwood had the honor of playing the first game of the tournament back on that Saturday, December 17th, it would have been. Nothing, yeah. Nothing like a 9 a.m. game if you played yeah, on Friday wake, night, yeah. is it? That wakes you up. Shot, no rebounds taken down by Martin Brandon, 6'4", junior, had 15 points to victory. They'll bring it up court. That's uh, Melanson with it. Back it goes to Martin. Martin, skip pass, far side to Melanson. Melanson, point guard, will dribble once, look for a, get it to someone. He'll dish it now. It's taken by Keenan Cole. Keenan Cole, jumper, no rebound, tapped down, taken down by Ben, Big Ben for the Grant Bulldog. Across the timeline, they will bring it. Dish it near side now to Bupri, we should say. Kyle now down deep. It is Andy Kale. Kale, no, but reverse, no. Rebound battle for taken down by Keenan Cole. And Streamwood will bring it up. 6.20 remained in the first stanza. A slow activity start for this one, but they'll warm up before this night is over. Coming your way on this Grant, Thursday night. Grant in a 2-3 zone to begin the ball game. Streamwood's being very patient with it, working around outside and looking right now. Malcolm Davis Wilder is 5'8 senior. That wears number 22 out there. Skip pass is going to go to Malcolm Davis Wilder. Land of three for him. He matches his name but doesn't get the three. Rebound taken down. Finally, track down it is by John Kerr, the 6'6 sophomore. And here comes Grant. Kerr brings it up back. It goes to... <laughs> Kusiak, when so uh, again they're still searching to break the shutout, aren't they, Coach? So we've got a Melanson out there, a relief pitcher, yeah, and, yeah, and a jo Johnny Kerr. Johnny Kerr, John uh, Red Kerr, of course, the first Chicago Bulls coach in the 66 yeah. 67 season. And after he was dismissed one year later, he became the legendary broadcaster yeah. for the uh, Chicago Bulls at one time had the consecutive game string I had a, the Syracuse Nationals. I had a player on my team one year named Johnny Wooden. Oh, my heavens. Well, you listen, he coached you. <laughs> <laughs> you can't beat that. Johnny Wooden. It's Malcolm uh, Davis. Around the horn, they'll work it. Melanson's got it. Melanson dish it right. How tall is Melanson? Melanson's a little guy. That's why oh. he signed that big contract. Uh, he's... Uh, He's going to be listed at 5'8", probably a little shorter than that, isn't he? Maybe I shouldn't have said how tall he is. I should have asked how short he was. <laughs> Martin, the board, shot no. And another jumper's put in by Keenan Cole for two. Four nothing it is. Sabres, the only points in the first three minutes of action here in the first stanza from the Hinkle Holiday Classic. Day two of this great event. Nothing more fun than basketball here at Henry D. Jacobs High School in Algonquin, Illinois. Kerr down deep, shot up and in. It's put in by John Kerr himself. He got the pass from Big Ben. Nice so Kerr run. the first two. Nice to run play uh, against the man-to-man -man defense. Teams are uh, Streamwood in their man-to-man. -man. Grant in the 2-3 zone. And out on top with a basketball. It's Davis Wilder down deep, dribble drive, reverse up and in. Hey, give that two. That looks like Keenan Cole. Is it not Cole again? There are two Coles on the team, Keenan and Lamont. And 6-2, Sabres. Sabres playing pretty tough here. Grant might have been guilty of watching a lot of basketball today, and it's hard to get those sea legs ready to go sometimes in the late <laughs> game, isn't it, Coach? <laughs> Out on top. I With know. it now is K. Andy looks, needs help, and almost a steal by, it is by Wilder. Davis, he loses it back, though. Grant will bring it back up. With 3.50 remaining, first quarter, Sabres 6 Grant two, will it be four? Dish it back though, into the lane. Wing jumper land of three, no. Rebound <laughs> taken down by K. K up and in, no. Rebound, who's got it this time? They're battling hard. Everybody wants to touch it, nobody wants to keep it. And finally, who's got it? The floor. <laughs> that was a lot of activity there. And a 
Let's watch 42 from Streamwood box out. I wonder if they got a replay of that. See you have a timeout. We'll tell everybody <laughs> with this timeout. For 115 years, Colonial Cafe has been serving up breakfast, lunch, dinner, and legendary ice cream to the Fox Valley community. Colonial Cafe is the premier location for after games, plays, concerts, and more. Colonial Cafe is your community cafe. ColonialIceCream.com. I had lunch there. You know, I don't get out socially, as you know, <laughs> Coach, much. But we had lunch there with uh, Jeremy Hayes and company. So it was very good. Did you have the kitchen sink? And I, you know. Uh, you're young and still can have that easily. You've devoured a few of those. <laughs> oh, you? yes, I have. I did see the truck that holds the big kitchen sink that's in all the parades. Oh, that yeah, was yeah, in the parking yeah, lot. Yeah. I decided I wanted to get a, you know, uh, a look at that instead. Okay. All right. There we go. Here we go. Quiet crowd it is. We get back to it here. Thanks for being with us. The only noisy one in the group is Coach James Hinkle right now. I think now. referring to the, the audience as a crowd is like referring to, <laughs> well, to the height of Melinsa. I, I only have a few folks over on that side, but I got some crowd next to you on my right and your right and your camera forward at home, I guess. Sabres with a basketball. Wilder, uh, Davis Wilder with it. Lanson. Down deep once again. Good move. That's cold down there. Too far under. Rebound taken down by Big John Kerr, the 6'6 senior. They'll bring it up. First man off the bench will be D'Angelo Flynn at number three for streaming the next whistle. Long three. Yeah. Hey, that's a three that goes. Give that to Logan Lewis, was it not? Lewis for three. 6'5. That more than doubles their output with one swish. 255 remaining. We got a what's this break here, coach? We're discussion going on. I, I think we had a foul uh, on away that shot away from the ball. Yeah. So they're going to get the ball. Uh, Cruz gets the foul. Coach. Oh, I wish I was watching. Who got the foul? Cruz. What I number heard. is he? 42. 42. Hey. I told you. You yeah. want to watch a box out? You watch oh, it. 42. Oh, you are psychic. I don't know why. We just should play the game in your front room. I think at times. I'll watch him. Jumper. Oh, that was a great rebound by Martin. They'll bring it up. Six five. They still lead. Haven't scored in a while. He may not jump, but you're not going to get around that young man. Flynn with it. Back out of dish goes to Keenan Evans in there now. The big guy, 42. Far side Flynn in deep in the corner now. Bring it out, throw it away in a steal. Here comes the Bulldogs, and it's going to be maybe a travel. No. Rejection good. Nice rejection there, coach. Here comes the Sabres. Martin with it. Big Brandon. Bounce it out on top to D'Angelo Flynn. Flynn walks in between the circles. Lama Tall, the big 42. That's Phil Cruz. And shot no. You can almost book a Cruz on Phil. <laughs> he's, he's a big guy. We're going to the Bahamas, it looks like. Six by the count. 205, first quarter. Basketball out on top. Kuzak. Wing popper by Kerr. Rim it. No. Rebound tapped around. Tapped around. Taken down finally by big number 32. That's Keenan Cole. Six five Southmore. Sabres bring it up, shovel it down. Martin Farside, you know the paint, it goes, shot no, tap no, rebound, gotten again by those guys. Cole around the horn, Cruz, dribble drive, Martin, Martin, yeah! Sabres get out of the basket that way. Martin with that for two. 8-5, they lead. 130 remain in the first stanza. Basketball action, the Hinkle Holiday Classic coming your way. Jumper, right side, rim it, no long carom. Taken off the hardwood by Keenan Evans, the six-foot senior. He'll bring it up, no, he gets it back to Flynn. Back it goes now to Martin. Back to Flynn. Flynn will look left, dish it straight ahead, the big cruise. Martin land of three, rim it, no rebound. Cruz back up and in, yeah! And the big guy is fouled. Nary a bruise on that one. He's going to the charity line as well, Coach. We use that left hand. He's got his whole body between him and his defender. There's no way you can reach over and block that shot. I don't care if you're six inches taller than he is. He's only listed as 6'2". Again, he's got that, that linebacker is that width, look. Is that width? Or? <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> <laughs> that width. All right. We have substitutions going on. As the Keenan Cole checked out for the Sabres, second... Oh, the two off's not good after the made basket. 10-5 it is. Double the lead for the Sabres. Gal far side, shovel it up, rim it up and in. Nice basket that time. That's going to go to a, a man off the bench, but that's uh, uh, Nick Covellis with that too. 10-7. They go back in that zone that you talked about, Coach Flynn out on top. D'Angelo dish it left side. Down to the final 40 seconds of the first quarter. Now right side it goes. The man off the bench for the Sabres. 
Nice pass. And up and in. Who put that one in, Coach? Yeah. Evans. We're going to give that to Evans. On Keenan Evans. On an assist from Cruz. All right. I like it. 12-7. Sabres playing quite well. Thank you. Dribble drive. Dish it off. Bank it up and in. Nice banker that time by Covella. Got four. 12-9. Scoring picking up now. Final shot time. It will be for Streamwood. 12 seconds of the timepiece. Tall dribble by the 5'8 lad. D'Angelo. Tricky dribble now. And he really turned it over, did he not? But he had fouled. Reach and fouled. What did you see there? Coach, he turned it over, didn't he? He got too tricky. Or quick timeout. Nope, it's a turnover. He turned it over. Yeah, he did indeed there. He's showing that fancy Dan stuff yeah, that you yeah, love yeah. as a coach. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're like that. Maybe in gym class. Not here, kids. <laughs> One 7.2 seconds as we check that clock again. Remaining for the Bulldogs to get the final shot away if they can. Inbound, far side. They get a good shot away. It's going to have to come here quickly, and it doesn't go in, and that's it. At the end of one quarter of play, it's the Streamwood Sabres 12 and the Grant Bulldogs 9. We'll take this quick timeout from one of our great sponsors. High Windy Flying City Hoops Bulls is only part of the Windy City Bulls experience during the team's inaugural season as the official NBA Development League affiliate of the Chicago the official Bulls. NBA D League Check out the, the Bulls. promotions and events scheduled Bulls. for this season at WindyCityBulls.com and bring the kids for the up-close action at the Sears Center in Hoffman Estates. World-class interactive entertainment that the Bulls are known for will make all 24 home games a place to be. Buy your tickets for every home game at WindyCityBulls.com. We are there, uh, Coach, and uh, assess that first quarter for us. Hey, Lisa's close. You know, I, 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 uh, I, I can't lean one way or the other on who's going to win the game right now, which is a good thing. It, it's good to watch a game that you're not sure who's going to win right now. Of course, the game previous to this, we had a 14 to 10 first quarter, and it ended up a 30-something point game. So you never know. But right now. A very competitive, close game. Let's hope it stays that way. We have another very uh, just outstanding refereeing crew. These three men are state tournament officials as well. Uh, th this tournament always gets the best, the best officials. It, it's probably because they all like to eat because they yeah. get all the food you can eat. Uh, the pay may not be good, but the food's great. They eat well, a, yeah, they can I eat think all this day. crew was saying when they retire, they're still going to keep their credentials and just eat in the hospitality rooms of tournaments. Well. For five days, I'm not. <laughs> You're not going home. I'm not spending any money on That's food. That's right. You know? Well, it's your event, of course. <laughs> they should have a Hinkle sandwich in there for you. <laughs> yeah. For everybody. A Hinkle classic. Yeah. A lot of mayo and a lot of mustard on it. <laughs> there we go. Violation there. Grant will bring it up. Just underway. Second quarter right here. 12 9. Streamwood in their home whites have the lead. Grant brings it up. Bulldogs, that's Logan Lewis, who had a three-pointer in the first quarter. Logan dish it off out on top between the circles. Near side it goes to Kusiak. Ben, dish now it will to Jack Gordon, who's in there wearing number two. Down deep, oh no, shot, but he's going to be fouled. I think that's big John Kerr, is it not? Going to go to the free throw line. Number 24, 6'6", senior, has two points on the evening so far. Cruiser's getting a little bit of a rest right now. I would think. He's taking up three seats on the bench while doing it. <laughs> First one, no. Kerr will try again. They still trail by 3-12-9. I'd like to see him playing for Coach Terry Head. That was the coach of uh, Clark. That would, that would be a yeah, pair. That'd be great. Kerr, second one, good 12-10. It is now within two. He is Grant. Streamwood will bring it up. Sabres in the form of their man, D'Angelo Flynn. Out on top with it to a big 6-4 junior. Martin, Brandon to Flynn, Flynn a flinger. It goes, D'Angelo Flynn with the three. Wow, that was nicely done, 15-10. Just when you think we might slow down offensively, they hit a three, 15-10 it is, near side dish, Big Ben with it. Dribble drive for him, into the lane he goes. He hooks a pass that knocked out of bounds last touch by a saber. I can't tell if Flynn with hair and without hair is about six inches difference <laughs> well, in his size. <laughs> I really don't know how we'll tall he is. We'll send you down is. to measure him. Yeah. Uh, sans hair at half. <laughs> you know. He'll come back. Uh, tough one from the corner. Yeah. yeah. Whoa. That was uh, number one. Was that yeah, was Lewis? Right. The second three. That was a heck of a that shot. That was a tough angle shot that went for three. They're within two on the Bulldogs. 
The dogs would be the favorite in this game. Yep, that would have been one of those, oh, no, no, and then clap ah, on those shots. Flynn with a nice hairdo, puts it up and in. <laughs> <laughs> so he's going well. 17-30, 13. He's hiding the basketball high. They can't see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Gordon flips it to... to Look uh, at that defense for those two little guys. Boy, they're, they're almost doing wrestling in class. Just the chest, just the chest. Yeah, that was great. They let him play, too. He is not letting him go. That's the kid that hit the two threes, and Flynn said, no more, yeah, no that's more. That's great. That's great. You would like that coaching style, Coach. Boy. Flynn brings it up, around the horn, Martin to Lamont. Cole Lamont will get in trouble. Backward dish to Flynn. Flynn dribble drive. Why not? He got hacked, got fouled. Did D'Angelo Flynn... A crowd favorite here at the Hinkle Holiday Classic. Well, I'm going to enjoy watching his man-to-man -man defense on uh, number one from Grant. What was his Lewis. name again? Lewis. Logan Lewis, which yeah, is a great Logan Hollywood had a name. great three-point shot. And you can tell Flynn just took it on himself to say, no, no more. Not on my territory. No more. So, not in my defensive posture. Yeah. Shot no it was a good-looking shot that time. Didn't go by Keenan Cole. Oh, here he here beat him down the floor Lewis. this time. To Gordon, Gordon fling it down low, gets his man in the air, and the shot not good. But it's going to be a foul. John Kerr will be fouled again. He was at the line just moments ago, hit one of two. Again, we appreciate the great efforts of Beacon Academy. Boy, these kids living a dream going to South Elgin High School under the tutelage of Ben Erickson and troops, having all this fun, holiday week plus, and being involved with this great broadcast here, they were buzzing about it in the hospitality room. It wasn't your sandwich they were talking about. It was the great coverage that Beacon Academy delivers. And your sandwich came in as a close Oops. second, of course. We'll have to make that up. You'll go to the kitchen tonight and make sure we have one now. Come on now. <laughs> second one good. He's got five. We'll stick with the game here. 17-15. Sabres with the basketball. They lead by two. 5-30, first half for many. Flynn, tall dribble for a little guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Nish it near side. Goes to Cole. Back outside. Near side dish now. Back to Melanson who's in there. Martin. Flynn. Flynn likes the oh, he's going with the big boys. Dish it off. Reverse layup up and in. Nicely done. Give that to Brandon Martin, was it not? What? Yeah. 34, yeah. That was great. He found this man. Watch Flynn on this kid. This yeah, it's great. He down is. low, they're working. The big guys are working hard down deep as well. Up and in. That's John Kerr. Seven. 1917. Picking up the action now. 450. First half remain. Flynn with the basketball. Dish it near side. To Melanson. He's 5'8 as well. Back he goes to Martin. To Wilder. Davis Wilder, we should say, is in there. Back in Malcolm, we'll call him. We hear a whistle. See what we whistle on this one. Looks like it's going to be a blocking foul against the Bulldogs of Grant. Inbounding underneath his own hoop. It's lobbed tall by Melanson to Martin. Knocked away from behind. Stolen by Lewis. Ahead of the field. They'll lay it up. And we are tied. Gordon for two. Jack Gordon with the two. Tied at 19. We should be tied at 19 on my score. Yeah. Out on top, D'Angelo, Martin. Sabres have led all the way. First tie was it not since it was 0 0. It is. 4 18 remain here in this first half. Taking their time now as they look over the zone. Flynn will say, I'll just dribble. Not as tough as I did earlier. This is far side to Melanson, near side. Martin, corner, almost a travel into the lane. That was a hop, step, and a jump. And that was some kind of violation by the Sabres on that one. Good aggressive move. It was. Nice defense. Blocked that, cut off that baseline. Hey, it's time for a cruise. Book yourself aboard the cruise right now because he's checking back in. All right. Phil Cruz in there, 6'2 junior. There's a good look at Phil. And here comes Lewis ahead of the field. He's going to be fouled. He got, look at that. Went had to follow him. That's a great matchup, like you said, on uh, number one for Grant, Logan Lewis, a 5'10 senior. And, uh, of course, as we mentioned, number three, D'Angelo Flynn, a 5'8 lad for Sabres. So Lewis, who's had two threes on the night, will go to the line for a free throw. With, with hair, though, he's 5'8". Yeah. He's All right. Well, we're good. <laughs> I'm going to have you. You're going to have to do some measuring in <laughs> halftime locker room. Seven points now for Lewis. And the lead for the first time, is it not, for the squad called Grant, the Grant Bulldogs. Lewis will have his second one. 
right foot in front of the left, as you see there, and he'll move it a little bit closer. Bends the knees like Larry Bird used to at the free throw line, and he makes it. Eight points he has now. 21-19 Grant. Of course, Ulysses S. Grant is from Illinois, so we like <laughs> Grant, fine president, great Civil War general. Wrote his memoirs before he passed away. Long jumper, that's Melanson, is not, no. Rebound taken down by Grant. They'll outlet it, looking this way. Big man with it now, across that timeline here. Dribble drive into the lane, dish it near side, awkward shot, and hits a spot you hardly ever touch on a basketball court from our angle. Now over the bank board, side of the bank board, took a bounce on the side and went up a little bit, and you saw it come down. So there's the turnover there, 21-19. Bringing it up, Malcolm Davis Wilder. Dish it near side. To a new kid in there, that's Jesse Rico in there now, number 10. Far side. Rico goes right, dishes left. Wilder with it. They're doing the dribbling act out on top. Dribble drive by Rico, no advantage. Brings it back out to the wing. They're looking for some penetration. Yeah, you, very you, like this, you like this patient like when very they do that patient. when it's not there. Look for it. Here comes Wilder. Malcolm, fall away, Jay. No. Rebound taken down by Grant. They'll bring it up, yeah. leading by two. Just as we mentioned, patience. He yeah, takes an off-balance shot. That was a tough shot. So, Even yeah. a Golden State Warrior have trouble making that one. Tapped up and in. A big Ben. No, make it Kerr. John Kerr for nine. 23-19. Grant on a roll. 2.30 remain here in the first half. Dish it far side. To Rico. Around the horn, they're going to work it. Bounce it, dribble drive, no advantage there by Keenan Cole. Backward it goes. Bounce it to Big Cruz. He dish it to Rico. Long two, doesn't go. Rebound. By Ben Hay. Oh, oh a quick he one traveled. Up. He did travel and he got away with a couple of steps there. Yeah, he did. And it's tapped up and in. Who tapped that in? Either way, it's a point for Rand after they got away with the travel. They now lead. It's good. It's on the scoreboard. They have 25 to Streamwood's 19. See if that's official, Coach. It is now. Yeah. If our scorekeepers have put it up on the official uh, score bug there, you know it's official. We appreciate it, of course, for 115 years. Colonial Cafe has been serving up breakfast, lunch, dinner, and legendary ice cream to the Fox Valley community. Colonial Cafe is the premier location for after games, plays, concerts, and more. Colonial Cafe is your community cafe. It's colonialcafe.com. The first Colonial Cafe in St. Charles, Illinois, as you know. There we go. What do you think, Coach, so far? Well, I think Streamwood <clears throat> now needs to hold on, keep this game where it is with, to get into the locker room at about six points. That would be good for them, where Grant right now is trying to just blow it open a little bit, take the momentum into the locker room, and make this another blowout game. Streamwood did a great job with its patience early in the game, got the ball inside several times. Now they've resorted to taking a couple off-balance shots and some perimeter shots, which haven't gone in, and Grant has taken advantage of going down there. So uh, uh, right now, the team's balance is in the balance right now in, in this two minutes. We'll, we'll see if Streamwood could hang in there so it'll be a ball game or if Grant just pumps it up right now. All right, here we go. 2.07 remain first half. Sabres with a basketball. Malcolm Davis Wilder, the 5'8 senior, waltz it across the timeline here at Jacobs High School. Out on top, Cruz, dish it left side, work it around. They're really passing it quickly, aren't they, Coach? Hot potato yes, right there. Dribble drive, nothing there, no advantage out on top. Cruz on the wing, he won't drive. Wilder, long pass, Melanson. Melanson now in the corner, it goes long jumper, way short. Rebound tapped around and taken down by Grant. They'll bring it up. Ben with it here, he's got Lewis on his left, dish it he does there to Logan Lewis. And then near corner goes, and we hear a whistle. Going to probably be a reaching foul on Rico. Jesse Rico. No, 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 we got a uh, offensive. Oh, we have an offense going the other way, Big yeah. Ben. Yeah. He, All uh, right. Moving screen. Good eagle eyes there, that's why you're the IBCA Hall of Fame coach you are, coach. That and you won a few games. We had another. Uh, ill-advised shot there the last one for stream yeah that was they, a, they yeah. appear to be working around well and then took a, a very poor percentage shot so they, they've got to be they got to get better shots if they're going to stay in this game Cruz near side dish to Malcolm out on top Melanson 
Now to Martin, down low to Wilder. He's going to lose it, and it goes out of bounds. And Grant will bring it up. It's been a second quarter dominated by the Bulldogs from Fox Lake and Grant High School. They've played well in this tournament over the years, haven't they, Coach? Grant. Grant's shown pretty well. Yeah, you know, they haven't been here very much. Uh, they have uh, been in and out of the tournament. Paul and so Gong going to be a turnover on that one, Coach. It's good to see them here. Yeah, and they have a very strong team this year, very strong squad as you see them running up in defensive posture right there. Here we go. We're down to under a minute in the first half. Six-point lead for the team on defense. They drop back in that zone. Streamwood brings it up. Melanson with a left-handed dribble, angle left, picks it up, goes dish it into the corner to Wilder. Davis out on top. Martin, Brandon. Dribbles with the right hand three times. Dish it left side to Malcolm. Malcolm throws it away in a crowd, but it's taken there by Sabres. His man Rico got it seemingly out of nowhere. Back out on top to Melanson. Going to try to go up a, a pick there. That doesn't work, so they set up shop again. Final shot time almost now as we're down to 23 seconds. They've been patient for a while. Will they be yeah. patient here? You know? I, they'll, they'll, they'll get the last shot, but uh, All right. uh, if they knock it down, then we might have a ball game. Yeah, that's right. Give you the emotional charge going into the locker room. Here comes Brandon Martin. He's going to spin it. It's going to be dribble drive by Rico. Rico back. It goes to Martin. Martin wing popper right side short. Rebound taken down by Melanson. No rebound taken down by no one. That's it. That is your first half right there. At the end of the first half of play, it's the Grant Bulldogs 25 and the Sabres 19. It was a 12-9 count at the quarter break with Streamwood leading. And now the lead goes to Grant. So as we get ready for halftime, we'll remind you about the Windy City Bulls, proud sponsor of this tournament broadcast for tickets and game information for the official NBA D-League affiliate of your Chicago Bulls. Visit WindyCityBulls.com. We're back for second half action after this.
to the Windy Sea Bulls, proud sponsor of this tournament broadcast for tickets and game information for the official NBA D-League affiliate of the Chicago Bulls. Visit WindyCityBulls.com. 25-19, Coach, you made an observation when the Sabres trailing by six after they led most of the way uh, through the first quarter into the second quarter, their body language was not good coming out of the locker room. It wasn't good as they left the bench, though, and just as bad coming back on. Uh, Streamwood right now is showing no enthusiasm for the game, and they started out well and played competitively for over a quarter, and things got away from them a little bit, and, and they look like they're really down on themselves right now. So I don't know if they need, they don't need, need someone to give them a hug or give them a kick, <laughs> yeah. but they need something because they, <laughs> right now, could care, their uh, body language is weak. I mean, very weak. I don't expect them to stay in the game for long. We'll see. We're going to designate you to do both, a kick and a hug to see which <laughs> works. Nine points led the way for Kerr for Grant, also eight for Logan Lewis, and five for the pint-sized D'Angelo Flynn led the way for the Sabres. Basketball in the hands of the Grant Bulldog. They set up shop again. They lead by six. Lewis dish it near side. Pass form goes to Dupree. Kyle, one dribble. Round the horn, they'll work it now. Kate touched it for a while. Far side, Lewis. Out on top, it goes now to John Kerr. Right angle to Kay. Kay will bounce it off his own body, but track it down in the near corner. Needs help, we hear a whistle. He step out of bounds, he did. Turnover by the Bulldogs. All right, good defense the first time down by Streamwood. And uh, let's see now if they can come down, put something on the board, maybe they can get enthused here. They are fearing your kick or hug, I think. <laughs> Mel Hansen will inbound in front of the Bulldog bench. He does so to Malcolm Dow Davis Wilder. 5'8 senior Malcolm, tall drip across the timeline, angle right. He now will Melanson land a three. Oh, air ball. Rebound, Cruz fetches it, but it's taken down there by Kyle Dupree. He might go coast to coast. He'll lob it tall to a teammate almost. Stolen by Martin. Tough pass there, good idea, but well, that's a lot of territory and not much room right there. Two possessions, two turnovers for Grant, so they've started out very poorly. Cruz. Malcolm, Melanson, Melanson, no, almost and, had it, rebound. And two threes, uh, one not even close, the other one a little bit closer, but you knew it wasn't going in. Lewis so. to Ben, near side it goes now, dribble drive, Dupree shot, no rebound, taken down by Keenan Cole for the Sabres. They bring it up, can they get an offense here? Malcolm thinks about a three, lob it tall to Martin back on the give and go, it goes to Malcolm Wilder Davis misses the shot, follow up and in by Cruz, was it not? Much better, much better. Now they took the ball to the hole, they got a good shot, they had rebounding position, and, and, and that's a little spark, you know, rather than just come down and cast it up from three-point range. They come, Cruz comes away with a steal on a terrible pass. That's three for three on turnovers for Grant. Davis Wilder brings it up. Dish it near side, Melanson back to Melanson on the wing, out on top, Davis Wilder looks over things, looks, looks, toss at the wheel to Cruz, Cruz back to the basket, spins around, Melanson angle right, out on top, Martin, Martin looks left, forward, no dribble, now he does. Couple of dribbles, Melanson down deep, they try to get it to Cole, but it's knocked away and stolen by John Kerr. Kerr to Big Ben, Big Ben on the right side, out on top, Lewis land of three, and this could get Flynn angry or agitated. He, Lewis hits it, he's got 11. And he's a nice shooter. Logan Lewis, a great Hollywood name there. A 5'10 <laughs> senior starring Logan Lewis coming to a theater near you. The new one at the Spring Hill Mall. <laughs> Here we go, bouncing down. What's the Cruz. rating on that? <laughs> <laughs> Rimmett, no. Rebound, taken down by Kerr. Outlet quickly. Big Ben in four court. Tricky dribbles, missed the shot. Good look until the shot. Rebound taken down by the Sabres. They are trailing by seven, 28-21. 5.05 remain third quarter. We're gonna see uh, Keenan Evans check back in from the Streamwood bench shortly. Running out of bounds, last touch by a Bulldog. Here comes Evans in and Melanson out for Paul Kowalson's Sabres. One of the proud alumni of Streamwood that handsome reporter on Channel 7 WLS, John Garcia, inbound, and a basket goes in. And that is going to be a basket there by D'Angelo Flynn, is it not? 
Yep, that is smart play by the inbounders by Flynn. The uh, Grant player just had his back completely turned, so he tossed it off his back, got a layup, and then got fouled on top. Of Seven for play. Flynn now in the game, Coach. He'll get the try to make the old-fashioned three the way you like it. He doesn't. Karam Long taken down by a 6'3 senior. K will outlet to Dupree. He's a 6'2 senior at nine points in the victory that they had in the previous game, Rockford Jeff. And long jumper by Lewis, not this time. Rebound taken down by the Sabres. And Martin in a gallop. He might go coast to coast. Here comes Martin, bounce it into the hands of Kyle Dupree. Back it goes the other way, and Martin finally gets it and puts it up and in. Martin for Duke. Good work there for Brandon. 28, hey, 25. Hey, Here it comes. Steal. We can get within one, a flush. Uh, Semi flush. Yeah. All right. And they got eight points. And Streamwood's going to come alive well, that, a little yeah, bit. 28 27, that count right there is what we have. Check number 34's name as we hear that. As we get a chance, and if Martone. And break. Uh, good idea there. We're going to get a chance with our uh, break, of course, the, the great. Well, we got a replay. Let's take a look here's, at that. Hey, watch this semi flush. Semi -flush. You could do a semi flush. That's how we feel when it's warm in here. Take a look at the Paradigm Performance replay. You saw it right there. Paradigm Performance designed to provide outstanding care and rehabilitation for athletes and to help them achieve higher levels of performance. Train to perform. Us. Hey, we got a game right here, young man. Our score is actually 28 27, is what it has as Streamwood within one. They are now at the 415 mark here. So they're back within one. They're on a 6 nothing roll, are they not, Coach? Couple steals, couple bad turnovers by Grant. Streamwood's taking advantage. Here we go. Let's see how they bring it up. They're going to bring back at Jack Gordon, number two. Had two points in the first half. Dish it near side to Big Ben. Down deep they go. Spin move. Kerr, we hear a foul. He's fouled before the act of shooting, it would look like. Fouls on Cruz. On Cruz. I believe 34. His name is Brandon Martin. Rather than the Martin, we are saying M A R T O N. So we'll inbound right there in the enunciator. Look at Cruz. Tall. He's got the picket fence. He's, he's a wall right there. The new game show going on TV. <laughs> and uh, there's inbound. We hear a foul whistle again. John Kerr fouled somewhere along the way. We'll do it again. I thought the wall was going up on the, the border. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's right. Politics and game shows come to you. Uh, LeBron, big LeBron, it's this game show. He's the executive director of the wall of game show. Another foul. We'll get back to the currents, but we like to keep you updated on those things, don't we, Coach? <laughs> yeah. Here we go. As a foul whistled against Streamwood. They've gotten within one, but can't stay out of the foul routine. Gordon will inbound, and he does so. He gets it to Lewis. Lewis swing it left side. Now, are any immigrants allowed on that uh, <laughs> quiz show? Call LeBron. <laughs> Down deep. Drive. No. Oh, it's going to be a player control foul on Big John Kerr. Turn it over. Same one's going to bring it up. Their body language wasn't good, but their play is better, thank you, right now, Coach. Absolutely. They're within one, and they have the basketball. They can bring it up and take a lead here. Take a lead of two with a three. Whatever it is, they've got possibilities at the 340 mark of the third quarter. Open up the court a little bit, they are now. It is, of course, with the basketball, that's D'Angelo Flynn taking his time, flings it right side. He goes and pass form to Keenan Evans. Back outside to Brandon, near side, Flynn down deep. Big guy Cruz, spin move, Phil, and he rims it. His own board back up, yeah! That's a Cruz. couple offensive boards. When you get the ball inside, good things happen. Cruz, no ticket needed for Cruz. He just dominated the boards and they lead, Sabres do. 29, 28, good moment there for Streamwood. Kerr, wing popper, no. Karam Long taken down by Grant. Back to Kerr, pass it down low, up and in. Great pass in small quarters, if you will. Big Ben with that. Nice pass. That yeah, was indeed. 30, 29, we seesaw. Grant's decided to come out and play some defense. They've been standing in that 2 3 Cole, zone. No, too far under uh, on that they one. Went to man, uh, oh, stolen over. back by Keenan Cole. They'll set up shop again. Big Cruz looks right, looks left. Dribbles once. Dish it, he will. Far side, Keenan Evans. Evans goes to D'Angelo, the popular little Flynn. Tricky dribble. Nothing there. It's the little guys battling each other just for you, coach. Swing it right side. They're fun to watch. Oh, they are. And down deep. Oh. 
take a seat on the court, if you will, on that one. Foul against Grant. And that was Keenan Evans, was it not? Dribble drive to the hoop, knocked down. Not in the act of shooting, not in the bonus. So the Sabres will inbound underneath their own hoop. D'Angelo Flynn will do the honors. He's got seven on the night. His squad trailing by one. Lava tall. Far side. It goes to uh, Keenan Cole. Keenan Cole out on top. To Martin. Now it's going to be Flynn. Flynn around to pick. Flynn. Long jumper. Yeah! Just a long two. Long two. Foots on the line. Flynn has nine. Sabres got the lead again. 31-30. So the basket goes for Streamwood. They lead by one, 31-30 on the Flynn jumper. Yeah, Flynn's fun to watch. Indeed it is. 31-30 it is for Streamwood, the lead. Down deep, they'll get it. We hear a whistle. A whistle indeed. One, uh, well, you checked that 149 or minute in the third quarter. Again, as we adjust our score for those folks watching in the great YouTube land all over the globe, it would be the 31 belongs to Streamwood and the visitor, Grant, in the red. They have the 30 for the one-point lead. There's a long jumper. It is no good. Rebound taken down by the Bulldogs. And there's a push before Grant got it away. He was given the sub. 32 the foul. And that goes to be whistled against um, Keenan Cole. Uh, we got now. That yeah, we're good. Three with the lead, 31-30. We're all right. Kerr out on top. Wing popper is going to be good. That was taken there. That shot up and in by Covellas, who's got six. We seesaw 32-31. Grant the lead. Grant's going to come out and try to play some defense now. They did last two trips come out and play some man. They've been just standing there in that 2-3 zone and it hasn't been very effective. Ooh, there's a turnover there. Almost got our camera lady down there. You saw that. So they created a turnover this time. Let's see what happens next. They're they trying have, to get a little more aggressive. They have the lead by one. They have the basketball. That's Lewis dodging traffic into four court. Dish it left side. Grant bring it across the near side. Dish it, they will there, the Covellas down deep in a crowd, pass form everywhere. Kerr off, hand up and in, was it not? John Some Kerr. Great inside passing the last two trips by ah, Grant. That was almost in fast form and regulation. 34-31, yeah. Grant on top. We get down to close to final shot time of the third quarter. 45 seconds remain in it. Out on top, dish it near side now. As checking back in is Lamont Cole for the second time tonight. Six foot senior. Near side, Flynn. Flynn hit the J from this spot. A little closer last time. Dribble drive by D'Angelo in a crowd. Dish it off. He will, and it's going to be up and in by Keenan Cole. Got that to go. Nice, nice move. 34-33. Grant only by one. Gordon in forecourt. Now final shot time for the Bulldogs. 15 ticks on the timepiece. His squad's up by the one. 34-33. Down to nine seconds. Far side. In the wing, into the corner almost. Dribble drive on that lane, almost a travel. Skip pass, Gordon land of three. No, air ball. Can he get a final shot away? No, but a great third quarter it was for Streamwood. They're back in it. They trail by one at the end of three quarters of play here at Henry D. Jacobs School in the Hinkle Holiday Classic. It is going to be the Bulldogs 34 and the Sabres of Streamwood 33 as we take this quick timeout. High Flying Hoops is only part of the Windy City Bulls experience during the team's inaugural season as the official NBA Development League affiliate of the Chicago Bulls. Check out the promotions and events scheduled for this season at WindyCityBulls.com and bring the kids for the up-close action at the Sears Center in Hoffman Estates. World-class interactive entertainment that the Bulls are known for will make all 24 home games a place to be. Buy your tickets for every home game at WindyCityBulls.com. All right, we're back. Windy City Bulls, proud sponsor of this tournament broadcast. For tickets and game information with the official NBA D-League affiliate of the Bulls, visit WindyCityBulls.com. And we're hearing from Harry Carey here. We are recording. All right, everybody. Let me hear you. Woo. Three strikes are out at the classic. <laughs> now let's get some baskets. Holy cow. How you know that Jim Hinkle's got a good-looking hat? <laughs> That's great. Harry, recording. No, we thank and read for that. Coming up with the Harry Carey. Yes, Gary. sir. Everybody. So that's exciting with that. 
Here, of course, the, for the young kids, the Beacon Academy kids, he was the announcer for the Chicago Cubs from 1982 to 1997, from 71 to 81 with the Chicago White Sox, one year with the Oakland Athletics, and 25 with the Cardinals. They tend to forget how many game, teams and games he actually broadcasts. Here we go. It is going to be a 34-33. Stream went down by one. They've got the basketball. D'Angelo Flynn with it out on top. Between the circles, dish it near side to Big Brandon. Brandon on tippy toes. One dribble right hand back. It goes to D'Angelo. Offensive minded lane opens up. Swing it in. Flynn for two. Nice job. He was almost Flynn Robinson like on that one. 11 he's got. Speaking of the Windy City Bulls. 35-34 are the Bulls have passed. It's a Streamwood lead. Basketball. Gordon and Grant, have we got a held ball situation or a foul, Coach? Foul. Young Mr. Flynn is a fun player to watch. He's coming out, going to get a little breather right now. He He's a fun player He's to got watch. 11. He's leading the way for the Sabres, who have stayed in it, despite looking like they might be mismatched against this good Grant team. And there's Logan Lewis. Lewis, near side dish to Gordon. They've got the two small guards out there now. Gordon, tippy toe, out on top, big men. Takes it left, looks right, looks right again, dish it he will. Back to Gordon. Nobody down, he'll get it out on top. Pass it, they will now to Big Kerr. John down deep, oh boy, that was a tough pass. And a travel. That was a lot of, they are very good interior passers at times, but hard to pull some of those off. Yeah, they're, they're tough passes, and they've made some good ones. They, they just didn't uh, connect on that last one. I'll tell you, the Streamwood has uh, outplayed Grant this half. Of, it's going to be exciting to see if they can hold on now. And we've got a doozy for you here in game 16 and day two of the Kinko Classic. Far side corner, bring it out to the wing. He'll take a popper right there. It's not going to be good. Cole missed that. Lamont Cole, rebound, follow up, and put up and in by Keenan Cole. Eight points. 37-34, the biggest lead in a while for Streamwood. They led early, but not since. That big. Big Ben. Gordon out on top. Gordon, no dribble. Dish it left side, he will. With the basketball now. That's uh, Colbeus. Near side dish. Out on top, Kerr. Kerr's been fairly quiet here for a while. Kerr, dribble drive, he wants it. In a crowd, force his way. No real estate there with Cruz in your way. <laughs> it's stolen by the Sabres. Bounce off a of Cruz, you're in trouble all the way, maybe. Blocking foul goes against the Bulldogs. So going to the line will be Streamwood. I think he's going to give him that bounce. Oh, he got the basket as well. Yes, yeah, it sir. is. Keenan Cole now with 10. Yes, he gets the sir. one shot. It is a five-point lead for the Streamwood Sabres, showing themselves proud here at this moment. We have a quick timeout, so we'll remind you, 39-34, the count you see right there. How about the great folks? I was there this afternoon for a couple hours, having a wonderful time for 115 years, Colonial Cafe has been serving up breakfast, lunch, dinner, and legendary ice cream to the Fox Valley community. Colonial Cafe is the premier location for after games, plays, concerts, and more. Colonial Cafe is your community cafe. ColonialCafe.com. And we have the sidebar thing for Coach Jim after the boat as well. <laughs> what do you think? And, of course, our great principal sponsor, the good folks that we call Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicagoland. They're the title sponsor for all your comfort needs, heating or air conditioning. Give them a call at 847-622-7483 or find them online at customheating.com. We appreciate all the participation of the sponsors for this great broadcast brought to you by the Beacon Academy folks in South Elgin High School. And we have finally got a nail biter, Coach. Well, you know, I, I, well, I'm not biting any nails. However, I, they, Streamwood kids got that hug and that kick. And they've, they've really outplayed Grant this half. So uh, uh, Streamwood possibly, uh, even though I know they've had a weak start to their season, maybe their competition has been a lot better than Grant's has to this point. That could be it. Because uh, play good teams. They're too. certainly outplaying them uh, in, right here. So uh, the competition level has a way of showing itself. A big lead right now, six-point lead for the Sabres. You see right there, down deep, shot no, and there's going to be a foul. Kisiak will go to the free throw line. Looked like he was fouled. 32 of the foul was against Keenan Cole, the 6'5 sophomore. His third. Ben will go to the free throw line. He's had two points on the night. Been fairly quiet for the Bulldogs lately. They led by a count of 25 to 19 at the half. First one by Ben is, is going to be good. So he's got three on the night now. 
40-35. There's some Grant spectators here enjoying the contest. You can hear the roar. <laughs> That's not bad, Coach. Thank you. They just saw you for the first time. There you go. Four points for Ben. Within four is or are the Grant Bulldogs. Casually bring it across the timeline here. With 5.45 remaining, bounce it to Big Cruz. Cruz double teamed right there. Cruz spinning around, looking, looking, spinning, looking. One dribble. It goes to Big Brandon. Brandon, near side. It goes to Malcolm. Malcolm will bring it out. Davis Wilder with it. Out between the circles. Lunges forward with the dribble. Bounce it, he will now to Cole. Keenan has been very good lately. Dish it near side now to Wilder Davis. To Brandon, land of three. Rim it, no. Oh, yeah, he got the shooter. Roll. That's those rims are brought over here from the other That's gym. Right. We heard the story. The old rims become a new again. Still a factor years later. 43-36. That was a great roll. Gordon. Desperation time a little bit now. Kerr shot. Yeah, he's going to have to get hot, Coach. He's got 13. For them to have the comeback, Kerr's got to hit it right now in stride. 43-38. Still a five-point lead for the Sabres. 4.50 remain. Wilder Davis crossed that timeline. Right side dish. To Cole. Cole very active, very instrumental in their comeback. He's got 11 on the night. Dish it near side to Big Brandon. Our time will... Look over the field, take their time. You know, the clock is now someone on their side. They have the lead, they have the basketball, they're up by five. Still plenty of time left, but they are using that timepiece. Melanson, dish it right side now. Back to Brandon, Brandon fakes left, dribbles right, spin, move for him. He might have traveled, does. Turnover, you didn't want to do that. No. Turnover it is, we're going to have uh, your favorite, D'Angelo Flynn will check back in. He's got 11 on the game, wearing number three. And Malcolm Davis Wilder will check out. Scoring no points, but a good floor game. And here comes Grant. Let's see what Logan Lewis has in mind. He's hit a couple of threes from downtown. Actually, three threes. Dish it down deep and rejected there, but a foul. Looks like Kerr was in the lane, coach. And he's going to be fouled by Cole, is he not? Keenan Cole. Two shots, it should be, for John Kerr, who has 13 points on the night. You see the lead, 43-38. A lot of time left. Oh, so it's indeed. Anybody's game. First one is no good. These teams now, in the case of Grant, they would play tomorrow at noon uh, uh, against Kerry Grove, who Streamwood beat in the first game of this tournament. And uh, Streamwood would take on Rockford Jefferson at 4:30. Second okay. one is going to be good. That's not really a powerful bracket. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so <laughs> the. I don't know how all four of those got in the same. You bracket. got a doozy in, in uh, your pool. Your pool. It's Bartlett and, of course, Jacobs. Tomorrow night is not. Yes. And yeah, that's a late game, so that could be a good one. The Bartlett Hawks. Cruz double team. They're working on him. Held ball. Every time Cruz touches, look like they're double team. They teaming. are every time he touches it. Arrow points towards the Grant Bulldogs, so they'll bring it out, trailing by four. Don't go away, this game is our, our very close game. You didn't like nail biter, so a very <laughs> solid game it is right here, young man, on a day of not so well, close. I, I just don't bite my nails. Yeah, well, yeah, good. Dr. Phil <laughs> took care of you. Watch one of his episodes, I'm not biting my nails again. <laughs> Kerr, dribble, drive, he's gonna get offensive minded. Kerr, spin, move, offhand, no. Rebound taken down by Grant. They stay in, no, they lose it. Stay in the moment, lost it to Big Brandon. Near side dish to Flynn. Let's see what D'Angelo does it with the little guys battling each other. Shoulder to shoulder, body oh. to body. Down deep, knocked away, last touch by a Bulldog. That is fun watching right there. I like to see those two kids going at each other. Yeah, fun. little guys don't read a book. Watch these guys play <laughs> and see how it's done. Pine side, hey, oh. right open. Flush it. Keenan Cole oh. has 13. Grant six point lead again. Fell asleep on that inbounds play. That's two inbounds plays they've fallen asleep on. That's a big difference. That's four points. And really, they just gave Kerr up. Kerr sees the lane asleep. open up, except he's got Cruz there. So that's an off balance shot. That's no good. Kerr gets it back, loses it. Cruz has it, doesn't he? And they fall on it. There's an entanglement there. We might have to have the jaws of life to untangle that. But it's going to be brought up by Streamwood. There's a good look at Big John Kerr who has 14 points on the night. Six point lead, three minutes to go. Streamwood, this is good. good. Uh, we, uh, Streamwood, uh, again, uh, our Elgin ties, we're very close to Streamwood, of course, so we're darn pleased with their showing here, yeah. emotionally, as hey, they uh, played let's, well. Let's see if they try and uh, run the time off. 
And I think there's, and there's a timeout right there. They're going to talk about that. Coach, that's why you're a Hall of Famer coach. 2.57. Hey, we got replays coming away. Paradigm Performance, of course, is performance replay. We're going to show one here. Paradigm Performance Design. We're going to see that dunk in a minute. Designed to provide outstanding care and rehabilitation to athletes and help them achieve higher levels of performance. Train to perform.us. We're in line for a dunk paradigm, so let's see that right now. See, looking, coach, looking, looking. Oh, wow. Oh, man, he just, they just, he just moved right Everyone in. Everyone turns their backs. That's the second time Grant's been burned because they all turn their backs to the ball. They're not opening up and seeing the ball in the man in, in those inbounds plays, and they've been burned twice. Grant's run some nice stuff on that inbounds plays and four big points in a six-point game. All right, 257 remain. Don't go away. Game 16 of the Hinkle Holiday Classic right here at Henry G. Jacobs High School, D. Jacobson High School in Algonquin, Illinois. Here's Flynn. Oh, there's boy battling right there. This is now Gordon on him right there, uh, Coach. Gordon was put on Flynn, uh, on Flynn, not Lewis that time. And they're going to whistle foul on Gordon, are they not? He's probably going to foul a couple more yeah, times. Yeah, because they got fouls to give. Yeah, they got fouls. So that's to why give. they want to get Lewis in trouble. Just have Gordon do the foul duty, if right, you will. Right. In inbounding, and now Gordon again. We'll probably see you go right at the body again right here for Gordon at the 244 mark. Go get him, says the coach. Near side goes to Lamont. Lamont, to, uh, and what do we got? Maybe a three-second violation on Cruz. Uh, I think a blocking foul. Blocking foul on Cruz? Well, he just uh, does that naturally if he uh, takes a step. Yeah, yeah. So Cruz, the violation, gives Grant some hope yeah. If you will, can they scale? tough turnover? Tough turnover. Can they win this encounter to maybe win the war down deep? Big Ben falling out of bounds. He loses it. Well, turn him out. Thank you. We we'll do it over again. And here comes Streamwood. And they'll get a chance to go into the dribbling routine again. Brandon, far side. It goes to D'Angelo Flynn. This will be fun to watch again. Probably a foul happened pretty quickly here. Gordon on him. Chasing him down, coming at him. He's going to try to steal it right now. If not, he's going to go for that foul. Doesn't do it there. Far side dish, out on top. Big Brandon into the lane. Hippity hop to the hoop. Banker too high. Oh! It's the Keenan Cole show. 15 for Cole. He is the man of the hour down the stretch, up by eight. Momentum going the way of the Streamwood Sabres from the Upstate 8 Conference. Dribble drive in trouble. That was a tough dribble red time. And wow. that's going to be a held ball and a turnover. Arrow points towards Grant. Good defense. Boy, I'm glad there was no uh, wagering at halftime. <laughs> yeah, oh, another it's, dunk. It's, Man, this is great. Good folks. Paradigm, performance, replay. That's wonderful. We appreciate their efforts and their replays. Follow. Watch this. No, no box out on him at all. That's Clear division path. one dunk right there, Coach. It's really yeah. nice. Lewis, land of three, way short. Rebound taken down by, no one finally tracked down by Grant. They'll do it again, Ben, Gordon, travel. You saw it right there, the shoulders went one way, the basketball didn't. Turn it over. Eight point lead for Streamwood. Getting exciting now for the Sabres fans. And again, their number one alum, class of 82, John Garcia of ABC7 fame. There's gonna be, oh, that's not, that might, you're not gonna like that as a coach, coach. Cruz. Let's see where the foul took place there. They're still fouling away. Not they're going to add Grant, the Grant's going to have to foul now and put him on the line and, and hope that Streamwood misses. All Streamwood has to do now is hit their free throws. 97 seconds and all that remain, Coach. They, yep. They've gotten themselves into a victory. There's D'Angelo yep. Flynn. They're going to have to foul. Yeah, no need to. He's taking time away right now. He's held it for 10 seconds already. Dish it. There was a foul uh. potential. Nothing called. There's a steal by Ben. And we'll go to Kerr. Kerr dribble, drive, gets his man in the air and shot. No, but he'll get two shots. 122 remain. John Kerr with 14 to lead the way for the Bulldogs. We'll go to the line. Again, our thanks to everybody connected with the tournament. Back you are, of course, for a 9 a.m. game that begins tomorrow. Coach, I'll be with you for the Bartlett Jacobs game tomorrow night. That's an exciting contest that we'll have. And everything in between all coming your way live. And you can just go to the Hinkle Holiday Classic, and you can catch right on right on the YouTube tie in there to see past and tomorrow, see the games as they happen. And this one second one is good by Kerr. 
Got 15, 47, 40, 1, 2, 2 remain. Inbound pressure, we have a foul away from the basketball. Timeout. Time timeout. Timeout time it is. So 122, remain 47, 40. We'll tell you about 115 years of glory. Colonial Cafe has been serving up breakfast, lunch, dinner, and legendary ice cream to the Fox Valley community. Colonial Cafe is the premier location for after games, plays, concerts, and more. Colonial Cafe is your community cafe. Colonial Cafe and ColonialIceCream.com to check that out. Yes, indeed, Coach. It's been a good one. I got to give kudos to the coaching staff and the players at Streamwood because really at halftime, they looked like the, this game was over for them. They just, they walked off the floor, they walked back. They didn't seem to have any enthusiasm for the game at halftime. But boy, they've come out and had one great second half Kudos to both the coaching staff and to the players that came out and turned this game around in the second half. Our, stands, uh, our score, we should say, stands at uh, the uh, Streamwood Sabres 47 and Grant Bulldogs 40. So they're within seven, 122 remaining. There'll be a quick foul here of some sort, you would think, and they'll try to milk that clock in the NBA style in the final one, two, two. Here we go. Flynn will inbound. D'Angelo and Keenan Cole have been Great players for the Sabres on this night. Looking, dishing there, knocking it around. And it's going to be a last touch by Cole, so it's going to be the basketball is going to go to Grant. Good defense there. Yes, it was. Lewis will inbound. No doubt he'll maybe, maybe lob it tall to Kerr, or out on top he'll toss it. Kerr's not there for the lob, so he's got to look. Look, he'll bounce it to Kerr. Tough handle in a crowd. Fall away shot short. Rebound taken down by the Sabres. And with the basketball, it's Davis Wilder. Davis Wilder, bouncing far side, into the lane, Cole, oh. no! But it's gonna be a blocking foul, is it not, Coach? I think so. Oh, it's an oh, old player oh, control foul oh. the other way, as we told you, Coach. He was a little oh. slow getting that up. Keenan Evans will check back in for stream one, no doubt a good charity tosser. 109 ball handler as well. 109 remain, 47-40, Grant will bring it up. There's just no need to do that at this time. Seven point lead. No, you just dribble around and wait, wait to be fouled. Yeah, yeah. Here they come. No Lewis land up three. Here it goes. When he get his fourth, no rim it. Rebound taken down by the Sabres. Wilder Davis to Cruz. Cruz flings it far side to D'Angelo Flynn, the punny mite sized guy. Goes into his Marcus Haynes impression now. Dribble all over. Pass it when needed. Far there side you go. to Big Malcolm. They'll foul right there. No to Brandon, we're under a minute. Foul takes place with 46.1 seconds remaining, and Streamwood goes to the line, leading by seven. 47-40 in that count. Great performance, as you mentioned, in the first quarter and the second half by the Sabres. Absolutely. I'm timeout. Have a timeout right there, so with that in mind, we remind you of, ah, about the great uh, our great main sponsor, of course, Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicagoland. For all your comfort needs, heating or air conditioning, why don't you give them a call? Good folks are at 847-622-7483. Or you can find them online at customheating.com. That's custom with a K. Coach? What are the records of the teams in this pool? Do you know them oh, right offhand? No, I, not, I'm not right off the bat. I, um, this pool is... is it's, You're thinking it's pretty much wide open, aren't you? Yes, yeah, very much wide open. And uh, I, I don't know how, you know, these things happen. Uh, someone's going to get in first place out of this pool. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Someone well, going to end up. <laughs> I like your spirit, Coach. I, <laughs> Here we go. Shot, no. Rebound taken down by... Grant not done yet. Kerr from behind. Man approaching him. He flipped it far side. Land of three. It's no good short. Rebound. There's a foul and a reach in. Can't hit those threes to make it more exciting down the stretch. 36.2 seconds remain in this one. Well, and going to the line is Streamwood. I'll make a bold prediction here. They're going to pull a, a Jacobs from the last three years. First in your pool, fourth in the tourney. <laughs> Whoever comes out of this, <laughs> this pool. But power to them. Yeah. Whoever wins this, that's a great achievement. And they'll get to play two really nice teams then on the last two days of the tournament. Shot no curve. Still a faint heartbeat for Grant. If they can get it, fling it away. It's going to be a long three. This one's good. 
This one went in. Good one. By, that was by Gordon, was it not? Jack Gordon, the three. Just enough to make you concern. Actually, check that that little three was by Kyle Dupree. Kyle Dupree hit that three, made it 47-43. Still a little alive. 26.7 seconds remaining. Grant now within four with that three that went. Oh, there's still time, Jeff. There's oh, yeah. still time. Yep, you just have to pull a Reggie out of your hat there. And, yeah. And, and yeah. do that. But Here we know. go. So, uh, again, uh, yeah, for Streamwood, you know, in, in the lesser of the pools they are, but this is a very impressive showing by Streamwood. I'm, I'm a little surprised myself. I, yeah, yeah, and it, uh, especially, I'm still sitting here after that first half. I just, I, I just think the kids and coaches have done a great job of turning this game around with something that at halftime I would not have expected at all. So 47-43, now we enjoy Elvis. It's great. Who's ever handling the musical enjoyment <laughs> and the Harry Carey inserts? Doing a nice job there. Thank you very much. That's so we're ready a, for more basketball. Yeah, huh? I think that's Reed Nosbitz. Yeah, me. he's covering ACC. all generations. He has, he's got to play the chicken dance yet. He usually plays that yeah, one, he, too. Well, he's got a pretty good playlist. Although the kids in the truck, the young kids from the Beacon Academy, Presley, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dad talked something about him. I don't know anything about him. Here we go, 26, 26 seconds, yes, remaining in there and uh, inbound there, there's a foul. That's what it had to be, so if they can make these free throws, they can ice this away, put it away, and come away with a victory for Streamwood. Kerr's third foul. Again, the Grant with a 43 total, the Streamwood's 47 is our official score, so they Still have a shot at this one, depending on these free throws. And oh, still boy! Alive. Here they come. Let's see if Lewis can fling a three, and we can really get close. Can he get the ball to Lewis? They'll go. The long jumper is not good. Rebound taken down by no one out of bounds. That means Streamwood has it. 14.7 seconds remaining. That might do it with the four-point lead in the basketball. If that would have dropped in, we'd oh, have had, had something. We had a doozy. Had we wanted that moment. Wanted the highlight reel for Ben Erickson and the students. Oh, in like there's a steal. We can do it again. It can happen. Oh, they lose it. And there it's going to be Wilder Davis putting that up and in. Ball game. That oh. confirms it right there. Oh. It's over. Except the shouting. It's going to be Streamwood winning in their pool, coming away with a victory by a final tally of 49 to 43, knocking off Grant. Grant, an impressive showing day one. And Streamwood just winning over Cary Grove. But today, Streamwood with a great second half has waltzed away with a very nice victory. So Streamwood's 2-0 right now. Yeah, they, yeah, they won. The, they played the game one when and, you were sharp at 9 o'clock. on. Uh, and the who do they have to play yet? They uh, they will be in action. Oh, that's a great question, young man. You're going to see Rockford, uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry, Rockford Jefferson against Streamwood tomorrow. Jefferson not as strong this year. Here we are. We're, we're on camera. Yeah, we're, just to show, there's the coach. I'm, here we go. Hey, guys, good work. <laughs> we're having fun now. But again, uh, well, so they get a chance to think about this tonight and play again tomorrow, realizing they're 2 and nothing, coach. Absolutely. 3-0, uh, if they can go 3-0 in their pool, that's a wonderful tournament for them. Uh, uh, power to them. I'm, I'm excited about the way they played that second half because I, I really – it's. The, they're like Lazarus to me, yeah. you know. They were they were dead at halftime, but we're almost on like we're a salute to Mr. Cruz. We're like we're on a cruise here with our <laughs> our camera. Good work out there. We appreciate that wonderful work. Uh, if I were a young broadcaster, I would go to South Elgin High School and be in Beacon Academy. So that sets the stage. That wraps things up for us on this entire broadcast day. Thanks for being aboard. You can watch all the games. Just go up to the Hinkle Holiday Classic on YouTube. You can see all the games that have taken place. Tomorrow you can hear and watch and see all the games that will take live, and that's ditto for the 26th and 27th. Again, Grant will take on Cary Grove at 10.30 tomorrow. And Rockford Jefferson does battle with Streamwood. The nightcap tomorrow night is Jacobs and Bartlett coach. Talk about that for a second before we go. Well, you know, both of those teams have had a lot of success in this tournament. So it would be good to see them get together. I, I really think Bartlett played the perfect game to play with Jacobs. Though. I think they're going to bid us to do. They said goodbye. There we go. Hinkle Holiday Classic there presented by Meyer, the good folks at Meyer. Again, we appreciate everybody being aboard with us and a great uh, title sponsor, Custom Heating and cooling of Chicagoland. For the great crew that is Beacon Academy, for the Hall of Fame coach that is James Hinkle, I'm Jeff Myers, we'll see you tomorrow. This sports broadcast made possible by support from the following. 
Custom Heating and Cooling of Chicagoland for your year-round comfort needs, heating or air conditioning. Featuring repair, installation, and around-the-clock emergency service. Call 847-622-7483 or visit customheating.com. The Windy City Bulls. For tickets and game information for the official NBA D-League affiliate of the Chicago Bulls, visit WindyCityBulls.com. For 115 years, Colonial Cafe has been serving up breakfast, lunch, dinner, and legendary ice cream to the Fox Valley community. Colonial Cafe is the premier location for after games, plays, concerts, and more. Colonial Cafe is your community cafe. ColonialIceCream.com Paradigm Performance Helping athletes achieve higher levels of performance with outstanding care and rehabilitation. Train to perform.us